What's up guys? <clears throat> On the road here in Denver. We got an event coming up in about two, three days. A quick word of the day for you. you guys, be grateful. Love everyone else as you want to be loved. Say thank you as you want to be thanked. Really be appreciative of each situation because the thing is, it doesn't matter where you've been or where you're going if you're not focused right now. Because right now, this present moment is what's going to depict what happens. So wherever you want to be and wherever you are, say, upset about not being at right now, the only way to fix that is to be present and aware of what you're doing right this moment. So what I like to do is I say my affirmations so I know that where I'm going. So pretty much success is just the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. It's not a destination. It's not somewhere where you get to. It's pretty much just a progressive realization. So basically, if you're after something that's better than right now, wherever you're at right now, if you're after something that's better, that's success. So just by striving for greatness, you are successful. It's not a dollar amount. It's not a location. It's not a, you know, you don't have to be somewhere. It's, it's literally just being focused and present every single day on, on a goal and just progressively realizing where, where that goal is, that you're, then you're successful. Be, be grateful for right now in the present moment because what you're doing is realizing where you're going. Does that make sense? You know, there's no reason to worry about where you've been because it's kind of irrelevant. The only thing that really can change the future is right now. What are you doing right now? Thinking about the past, worrying about the past, um, having doubts, feeling anger, you know, you feel bad about yourself because you know you weren't disciplined yesterday, you know, you ate that bad food, you slept in, all that stuff that happened that's in the past, it's irrelevant, it's just a lesson, okay? You learn from it, but don't dwell on it because it's not going to help you. Dwelling is just gonna attract more things to dwell about. Once you understand this universal law, things are gonna start to change for you. If you're happy right now, you're gonna attract more happiness. It's a very simple concept. You gotta understand the universal field of energy. Basically, whatever you put out there, it's going to attract the magnetic match to it, what it is. You're, the frequency you're on is gonna attract people on that frequency, foods on that frequency. Like, it's so deep, like it goes into the weather, the traffic, you know, not to get too deep with you guys, but understand everything that happens to you is pretty much just life responding to you right now. So if you're feeling a certain type of way, you're going to attract more things that align with that vibrational frequency. That's why it's important to be grateful every single day, love everyone else and thank everyone else, because when you do that, you're going to attract whatever is on that vibrational frequency. Meaning there's certain times where I mean, we use our intuition more than you even realize. Whenever we're walking, say you're like we're walking down the mall, right? For some reason, we get a feeling that we should walk into this store versus that store. That's your intuition speaking to you. And we, we live from our heart space. We actually trust our intuition. Instead of thinking, overthinking, your mind can a lot of times clutter what you need to focus on. So instead of just overthinking, trying to think yourself out of a situation, stop thinking. You, got, you guys really got to fire your brain and hire your heart because your heart doesn't lie. Um, you, the universe reveals its secrets to those that follow their hearts. Instead of trying to be so smart and think, guys, train your subconscious mind. That way you don't have to think because your subconscious mind is, you know, whatever it is, 30,000 times more powerful than your conscious mind. Once you understand the difference between your conscious mind and your subconscious mind, basically everything you do is right on your subconscious mind. Um, and one way to explain it for you is a lot of people, they think they don't have control of their life, but what you're doing right now is pretty much, or who you are today is basically an average of who you've been in the last three to six months and more, more specifically in the last few days, even the last few weeks, you know, they say it takes 21 days to create a habit, 90 days to create a, a lifestyle. And, th and that's just based on your subconscious mind learns on repetition. So if you eat at a specific time every day, 
whether you're actually needing food or not, you're gonna emotionally feel that you need to eat at that time. And that's just your subconscious mind coming into play. So say example, you drink coffee every morning at 8, 8 a.m. Um, when it's 8 a.m., you're gonna feel like you need coffee. It, it works the same way. So say like bad habits, um, when you go, when you get home from school, you want to play video games. So every day when it's about to be into school, all you can think about is playing video games because you're basically emotionally attached to that idea and that habit that you created so that now your subconscious mind takes over. You guys got to think about it. If, if when you get home, you, your automatic reaction is to go play video games, which that was the case for me. That's your subconscious mind because at one point in time, your conscious mind decided to do something and then in one specific time you decide to do it again and that's what created a habit the more you do things the more it becomes a habit that's hard to harder to break your subconscious mind works on repetition so understanding this understanding the, the reason why you have these bad habits you can actually use that to your advantage and create good habits you just got to understand it's going to be uncomfortable at first because your subconscious mind is 30,000 times more powerful than your conscious mind so if you need to make a switch it's tough because you have to use your conscious mind, which is not as strong as your subconscious mind. But you just have to get past those first few days, first few weeks, and you basically set yourself up for more success, more happiness, because you're gonna be disciplined, so your self-esteem is going to increase. So just understand how that works. A, th a couple things you can do, I'm, I'm doing today, this is the first day of the 75 day hard. It's something that Annie Frasilla brought to me. And basically what it is, you, you find five, you know, whatever, five to 10 tasks, things that you need to do every single day. And basically you just do them, whether it's hard, whether it's easy that day, like doesn't matter the situation, doesn't matter the weather, doesn't matter if you know your dog died, doesn't matter if you have a wedding to go to, it, it doesn't matter, like you have to get it done, no matter what. Um, some of the things that I have on mine, basically I wake up every morning, I go outside, bare feet on the ground, ground, uh, meditate, come inside, affirmations, I take a cold shower, you know, those are just a couple examples, like, basically work out every day, um, no weed, no alcohol, no coffee, that's what I'm doing, um, and basically, I'm doing it to discipline myself, and I know that mind-altering substances basically take me off of my primal state in the present moment. If I'm relying on coffee or weed or alcohol, then I'm not I'm not at my best. I'm I'm in a lack mindset and you need to be in an abundant mindset at all times because like I said, you attract who you are. Guys, you don't attract what you want. You attract who you are. But at the same time, you understand whatever you want wants you. So, you can use that to your advantage. Like I said, if you're addicted to let's say hitting a jewel or you're addicted to watching TV, you're addicted to playing video games, you're addicted to drinking coffee, the same way you're addicted to those things that do not serve you, you can be addicted to writing your affirmations, reading a book, eating healthy food, because it's just a matter of being aware of what you need to fix and then creating that habit because your subconscious mind is 30,000 times more powerful than your conscious mind. So you guys understand you're living from your subconscious mind. It's going to be uncomfortable because your subconscious mind works on repetition. So whatever you've done in the past is what it's going to be easy to do right now. So just humble yourself and know what you need to fix so you can fix it, guys. It, it, you know, that's as simple as I can put it. You know, it, I really changed, it really changed my life once I really understood the difference between the conscious mind and subconscious mind. You know, habits, doing the daily disciplines, really just listening to your heart and the way you feel versus what you think. Because the thing is, the way your mind works, you're basically thinking based off of what everyone else does or thinks instead of actually listening to yourself. Only you know what's best for you. And the, the, the way to actually tell what you need is by paying attention to how you feel, which is